Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another video for you today using the styrofoam ball and we're going to fill it full of dum-dums. So this is going to be another teacher's gift, but it's going to be flowers. So what I did was I cut a bunch of these little tiny flowers out and I cut it out with my new brother machine. So I just set them down to about one and a half inches tall and um, they already had the hole pre-cut. So what I did is I'm just sliding these dum-dums down on it. And what I did was I just took my ink pad and rolled these in the ink like this to get the tips. And that's what I did to all of those. And so I'm just gonna slide each and every one of them on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take a dum-dum and just kind of roll that around just like that and get this down in there and then just twist to have it sitting down there. Now I probably could have got these flowers a little bit bigger, but I don't know how much they would have bumped into each other. So we'll just kind of see how it's gonna be. But what I did was a gradients of different colors of purple because I had these scrap pieces left over. So what I did was I had six flowers ready to go. So I cut them out just like this. So what I would do is I would just lay one little piece on the mat, load it, cut them, unload it, take them off, load it, and it literally took maybe five minutes to do all those flowers. Um, so I have those, I've got a bag of dum-dums, and I've got my styrofoam ball, because remember it came with two from the soda, so I have the extra, and we're gonna do it on a cup this time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little ring of hot glue in here, set this down in there, we're gonna put the dum-dums. Now also with the brother machine, and I'm gonna set my cup here on my dum-dums to get this on here, I went ahead and cut out with vinyl, tested that out. I put it on a setting of two to cut this out, because the first time I had it on, Four and it was too much. So I've already cut this out. Like I said, I, I designed this with the brother. So it cuts out vinyl really nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this down. You wanna already have this cleaned up with alcohol and stuff. And I've just kind of measured about where I want it. So I'm gonna put it right about here. So just like that. And I cut it out with purple as well. So this whole theme can be like a purple. Um, and I thought about gradiating this with different color purples, but I just left it. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just varnish this on here really good. And I'm using contact paper from the Dollar Tree. That's what I've used now for a long time. It's the only thing I use. I love how it just picks it up and lets it go. So it's only a dollar. And you can also pick it up though from Michaels, you know, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, things like that. But you get it from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So once you get that down, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this away. So that's super cute. So this is gonna be like just a little flower pot. So it's gonna be like a little flower pot with flowers. So now, okay, so now that our hot glue is ready to go, what we're gonna do is just put some glue right here on the edge and then pop it down. Like I said, it would be too much, I think, to try to find the placement of the glue on here compared to just put it inside the cup. So I think our glue gun is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this glue and just go all the way around as quickly as possible so it don't dry on me and just go all the way around the inside edge of this cup. And they can pull this off. That's just gonna pull off later, so it's no big deal. So I'm just gonna pop that on there just like this. Hold it for a few seconds. All right, so that's stuck on there really good. And like I said, that'll just kind of pop off and they can pull that glue ring off and wash it really good. So there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start with our dum-dums. So now you're gonna be able to see the top just like this. I'm gonna open up my dum-dums get them piled out here and these are super cute with all the different colors so what I'm going to do let me move those around so you guys can see them okay so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my hot glue because I don't need it anymore so what I'm going to do is just take a dumb them like I said and I'm gonna kind of alternate between these colors and I'm just going to slide one on just like this and then I'm just gonna start I'm gonna start in the very center is what I'm going to do and kind of work myself around so I'm gonna pop it down just like that all right, so I'll get another one. I'll switch my colors on my flowers here. Pop that in, and now you could go ahead and pop all your flowers so that way they're ready to go, but I'm just gonna kinda go as I go along. So then I'll kinda scoot this one as close as possible and get it in there just like that. And just keep going. So I'm gonna get another one. I'm switching to that last color here. Kinda get that down just like that. And popping it in just like that super cute so you're gonna be able to see these petals and I don't know how much like I should, like I said I probably should have did a little bit bigger and maybe had them come up the side a little more but I just didn't know how well they would kind of work together so uh, we'll just see what happens now what I did on my brother because you can save your file on your um, on your machine and that's what I did I you know cut these flowers out with designed without using internet just the machine and what I did was once I had it, just in case I have to go back and cut more, I went ahead and saved the file. So if you're gonna do that, and the flowers are totally optional, you don't even have to do the flowers. 
So that's just, you know, totally optional. Now sometimes you're gonna have to twist these a little bit more because they're not closed properly. And just make sure you do that so you don't have any open candy out there. So you're just gonna keep popping these in and every once in a while you may run into another stick. Um, so you just kind of have to move it over. So see like this one right here is kind of opened. So if I can't get to it without touching the candy, I would have just tossed it over. I wouldn't have wanted to give that to anybody. So as long as you can kind of twist them without having to touch anything, and then just go into my colors here, pop down another one. Now I don't think we're gonna be able to see these flowers good enough. I'm really kind of concerned about that, but we'll just see as we go along, like I said. So I'm just gonna to continue to keep popping these down. Okay, so this, okay, so this is what it looks like so far. There's a few I need to go back and kind of fix a little bit because the way that the wrappers are. But I need to fill in a ton of spots still. You can see on this side I still got a bunch to go. So I'll definitely get two bags for this project or just get a bigger bag, if that makes sense. Because um, I think this is like a one-pound bag. So, um, but I definitely, like... I literally just need a few more to fill in here and there. But isn't that super cute? So it'd be like, but I'd really want this to be filled in down here. Um, but basically you get the idea. So it's going to be like a little flower pot. And then I was thinking that you could always take like some sequins here or something. So you could take, let me go ahead and get my Tombow here. Because it's just going to be on the wrapper. So you could always take a little bit of glue like that. That was way too much and put a sequence right there in the middle of these just to kind of make it shine a little bit and you could switch the colors around so you can always put on some little sequence like that so hopefully you guys will be able to kind of pick that up so that way you can just add some little tiny sequences in there so let me kind of pick some of that glue up but you could add all kinds of different colors you i thought about this as well because you could take some of your paper flowers that you've created and go ahead and get those glued in there just like that and kind of really make some super cute uh, okay here so you could just always add your little flowers in there so now i'm going to go ahead and glue these on here so you guys can kind of see that so um you guys can kind of see what it would look like if you added some of your paper flowers on here but i am going to go back with some more done bems once i get another bag and i'm going to fill that in so like i said definitely get at least a two bags or even just a bigger than a pound so um and it would definitely fill this whole thing in um and then this gift is because these cups are from the dollar tree if you've already got vinyl on hand this gift's going to cost you about five dollars to make so um and you could do any little saying that you want to but i just love the way that came out and you could use your cricket silhouette um you don't even have to put some Something on there if you want to have your kids write on the cup with a sharpie or something like that if you don't have a machine or you could already pre buy one of the cups that's like a teacher's cup that already has a saying on it and um, and then just put this right on top so like I said this is just around a five dollar project so it's not bad at all so I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing down these flowers here so I'll just kind of find a spot and I need to get some more on the outside like that so it's touching everything I'm gonna start with my pretty rose right here in the, the middle just like that oh i still feel like i need to add some more i may add some glue to the, just the tops of these to make it easier to kind of pop that on and then i'll move to the next one and it's really cool to have like the mixture of the flowers um and you could just literally set those right on top of the little dum-dums so i just add some glue on the back like that and then just kind of glue them right onto the wrapper just like that and it's nice to have a variety of colors too to make it look really pretty but you could do like all roses or something if you wanted to so i'm just going to kind of pop these here and there but these are those extra flowers that i had when i was kind of playing around with my flowers so i'm just going to pop them on here and like i said i am going to go backwards and get um i should have put this one in the middle that one's really pretty so i can kind of pop it in here if i wanted to or maybe over here on the side um I am going to go back and adjust the, um, the dum-dums, so I just kind of want to show you guys what I'm doing, so I'm going to take some more of these little flowers here and just pop them here and there, I'm going to 
bring this in so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to continue just to pop on what I have here. This is the final product. So I've just got to get some more dum dums. Sorry if I'm moving, I'm holding my camera. But um, I just pulled some of the dum dums from behind so you could see the effect here in the front. But I just got to finish it off. But like I said, I just kind of glued these flowers on top. You could do all kinds of different colors. You could do the same colors, whatever you wanted to do. But this is what it looks like. I think it came out super cute. You could do, like I said, whatever saying that you wanted to. You could already do a pre made cup. Um, but I just think it's really adorable and should be able to just pop the top off and just pull that ring of glue out if it doesn't come with the top, you know what I mean? But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.